Good afternoon everyone, it's Rachel here and I nearly didn't get in here to do a video today. So I am just going to sit down for a little bit and have a crafty session. And I am just going to, I've got all these things glued onto um, really just glue book paper. And I thought I'd finish them off and have a chat and see how everyone's going. So, um, let's start with this one. I need to put backings on them because you can see they don't have writing things. They are a bit curly, which I don't worry about. I like to keep these pages to fold and do tri-foldy things. So we might, I might do that after if I remember. I always say that, don't I? And then I forget. I've got some paper here. How about this? Let's glue some of this on the back. So because it's already on vintage paper, I'm just going to tear so that I can see the edges of the vintage paper. It doesn't have to be flush. I can even hand tear. There we go. So that's going to go on there. So how is everyone today? Hope you're well and you had a good weekend. That's, oh, that's got a, I don't know if you can see that. It's got some sort of, what do you call it? It's filigree in there. Got plenty of glue. So first I'm going to back them to streamline my process. Just back them with some writable sort of paper. It could be a digital writable paper. It could be just this like this vintage paper. So I'll put a few aside and that one's already done. That one can have maybe just a little piece of something like that there just to add a bit of interest. And I'll leave them turned over so that way I can see which ones I need to do. So what is everyone working on today? We have to go um, at five to Lulu's sort of parent-teacher thing. A bit of drama-rama in the class because the kids are naughty and, and um, of course, they don't listen. I think I've told you this before. And there are the parents that just blindly defend their kids and believe that their actions shouldn't have consequences. So I don't know what's going to happen in the meeting today. But I'm, I'm bringing Steph along. He can speak if, there's, if speaking needs to be happen. I think we probably won't say anything. because we beg to differ, but um, we'll just see how it evolves. Right, now is that, oh, that's going to be very good there. Take that bit off. Yeah, sometimes at the after a session with you guys or whatever, I sort of just sit down and, and glue. Sometimes I don't know what I want to do and I just come in here and Maybe watch a YouTube video. Um, actually, I think I was watching Wendy's latest video, last video that she did when I did this one. Um, her purple, what, oh no, not the purple shed, what's she called? Is she called the purple shed? I can't remember. Um, the art journal that she got. Um, actually, I went to see if they were available, those art journals. Before Wendy's video, um, Kate, I think the lady's name, had... Um, shared them on Instagram. I follow her on Instagram and I went to her shop to see if they were there and they were gone. So there you go. I don't know if they were gone or not listed yet or what, but I didn't see them. Okay, so what will we have? Do I have, what papers do I have here? Oh, that's another one like the other one. That might be a job. Have we done that in the, um, what's it called? In the what's it called. That's good, isn't it? Uh, in the 
Roxy's Weekly Challenge. Oh, no, I love those too. Mm -hmm. Oh, dear. I'll never get anywhere if I keep rejecting all the papers. Here's some crumbly paper. Let's use this. So. Hmm. I may. I'd like to tear it, actually. So, around there. It's very crumbly paper. here and oh crack it it's cracking okay I don't want any sticky paper underneath because it's just gonna fall apart it could fall apart anyway so the falling apart papers they need to be glued to another piece of paper to stop them falling apart that's the best way you can reinforce them is glue them to another and I got glue on that bit and I didn't want to big chunk of glue and it's going to be on the bit that I'm going to snip off maybe let's grab a wet one a dry wet one and just pull that off okay now I would love to leave that bit at the top but it's so crumbly this paper I think it will just flake off so I'm just going to cut it yep it would have just flaked off We will decorate these after. I'm just going to back them first. Get rid of that. Put him over there. Don't have to decide what to do with that. Okay, let's have some more crumbly paper for another tag. Let's see. Oh, yes. I like the um, different colours of beige. Hopefully I get this uploaded. Because, you know, it's pretty late in the afternoon now. What time is it? 3.20. Then I have to go and get ready in about an hour. I have to try and make myself look semi-decent because I'm in my trackies, which are my sweats. Is that what you call them in the States? The sweats? Sweatpants? We call them tracky dacks in Australia. Well, I do. Oh, and good news, guys. Sherry, our lovely Sherry. Hi, Sherry. She has told me she now loves tags. No, not tags. Labels. Labels. Sherry loves labels. I rejoiced this morning when I read that. Because I've been tormenting her for years, putting labels everywhere. So the pain has stopped. Right, I've just got to pause my video a second. Sorry, the timer just went off. I um, have an onion in the oven roasting upside down because I, my mother-in-law gave me some beautiful pumpkin. It, it's called a mantovan pumpkin. I think it comes from that area that has a, a dark green sort of skin because you know how they all have different color skins and it's a particularly nice type of pumpkin. And they grow them. Actually, I introduced it to her because I used to buy them at the supermarket, organic ones. And they um, they just have lovely flavour. I don't like pumps. I guess some pumpkins are a very washed out sort of flavour. These ones are very tasty. And um, and so I had give and, and so I had bought them and I had told her, um, you know, not that watery, insipid sort of flavour. And so anyway, she took the seeds. And she planted them up at um, Steph's grandparents' house. Well, his, I say his grandparents' place, just so you know, but he, they're not around anymore. And um, and so now they grow a lot. And, oh, perfect. Don't you love that? Uh, and so, yeah, and they're really good. And so she gave me some. She already plants them I and mean, she cuts it up for me. Sometimes she gives it to me already roasted, but I prefer her not to give it to me roasted, but she cuts it all up and cleans it. So it's already in pieces. And so what I do is I just put my spices on and then I roast it. And, um, and so I did that. And then I thought, because we're going to be back late, I thought we're going to be in a hurry. So I thought maybe I should turn, I had roasted them yesterday or the day before. 
and I thought maybe I should um, put some, like, make a soup. So I watched, um, I just went, looked up pumpkin soup, and then I, and I saw Down's Shiftology had done a recipe for a pumpkin soup, a video on YouTube. And so I, although I do have her book, I bought her book. I haven't really used it yet. I need to get onto it. I haven't gotten back into my food prepping. I need to do that because it really is useful. And so, so I like, we don't waste, you don't waste much. But since we moved, we just didn't get back into it. We need to. Anyway, um, so I watched her video. And so I put my pumpkin, I've taken the skin off, which is really easy once you've already roasted it. And I've put that in the blender. And now, um, and she roasted um, with the pumpkin, which I didn't. The some uh, um, what's it called? I was going to call it a carrot, but a tomato, and then I was going to call it a carrot, but it's actually an onion. <laughs> she roasted an onion. Can you imagine me doing a cooking video? Um, and and put that in. Oh no, so I'm roasting an onion, and I'm going to put that in with my roasted pumpkin, and we're going to blend it all up with some stock and have a soup tonight which is good something to be said for having stuff already baked let me see how maybe that'll be easier it's nearly three so if i go to i wanted to be a bit less to from there to there and just fold it on that line there then i've got my whip And then in front of me, I have a huge pile of stuff just like this. Oh, just let me show you my pile of stuff that needs to be <laughs> completed. And let me just give you a tap, just in case you're out of focus. Okay, so it's just got a bit. Maybe I went a little bit too wide. It doesn't really matter. Famous words, aren't they? Doesn't matter. I'll, I'll do two more three more actually that i'll do three more because that piece will fit on there i can see it right now and then we'll do some decorating probably don't need to flip them over anymore because i can see that they are done now this one um no that one i think i'll put on there yes i will So we went to the antique market yesterday. Didn't find too much. Uh, oh, I did get some very old books, um, which I got a couple left in my shop. Oh, that one's already backed. Yay. Oh, what will I attach that to now? I've got it in my hand, stuck to my hand. Just a sec. Let me find something. Oh, my goodness. Oh, they're all backed. That one's not. What's this one? It's too big. Too small, I mean. Oh, they're all backed, some of those. Okay, um, yeah, I got some 1700s books, which are becoming harder and harder to find. I did have a couple of 1600s books, and you ladies are on it, and you got them. And then my mother-in-law came over because she hadn't seen what I purchased, and she told she got angry with me for selling the 1600 books. <laughs> she said, I've got to keep those. And I'm like, well, no, I can't keep everything. I've got a couple, and I decided to share them. And one of them, when I was, um, you know, putting the description um he bought that tamara i think you got it um actually inside you're going to die when you see inside there's all kinds of little um symbols and things in there it's wonderful um so yep they're gone well there's a couple 1700s left but the others have gone um i do i will have more i just do them slowly because it's, i like to hang on to them for a bit <laughs> So, yeah, I didn't really find that much yesterday. Um, but Lulu came. She, that's what I wanted to tell you about. Lulu came and she 
one time she came and she got all nervous and stuff because they have lots of um you know second hand and vintage clothes stores as well and she likes to sometimes have a look there because she's very petite and only 17 and things look good on her and um and so she can get get away with things and she has very great her own sense of style and a great vision so she decided to come and thank heavens because she came home with four items for 30 euro and she got the most beautiful leather jacket i mean honestly it looks brand new and the young lady she was in her 30s i think that was selling it said it just didn't fit her anymore but it was in perfect condition and she got a really nice looking denim jacket for two euro and um so she was very pleased she had a great time and we enjoyed having her company okay now we're ready to look at the and we're not going to decorate all of them but at least they've got backings on them okay so this one is already pretty as is i think it could do with maybe a little bit of a um maybe a washi tape just a tiny bit of washi tape somewhere now my buzzer will go off in a minute and then i'll have to get up and go there and turn it off so we'll be oh yes i like that i've put it on crinkled but that's okay we don't want anything perfect like so and um and then i'm going to put something at the top will I put at the top and I need to do something with the I'm going to do the corner snip just a minute let me get my corner snipper out which is my new favorite thing more than the others now do I want that one I might use this one let's use this one where's my other one gone oh, might be in the other drawer I'll have a look afterwards oh oh I went through the washi as well hmm interesting So, oh, look at that. That is really pretty. I do like these punches. Thank you, Sharon, for getting me onto those. They really are a fun thing to have. They add another dimension. I mean, that's just fine as it is. It doesn't really need anything else. So there we go. That's done. Put that to the side. And let's look at this one. Now I need my... Oh, there it is. I can see where the corner punch is. The other one. I need this. I'm going to do the the big hole. Oh, something's stuck in there. You need to be able to see. Right. So let's punch that. Okay, let's see what to put on here. I do have some cut out things. Got some flowers over here they may not be cut out oh i think i might like that color on there oh and i do i'm just going to put that there okay i'm going to finish this one off and then i'll go out there and see what's happening with my onion because the timer just went off put that there and put, put it up a little bit just keep it simple because sometimes you just need some pretty simple tags and where's my I ask you like you would know where my my Tracy little booklet is it should be in this drawer why can't I see oh it's fallen to the back there it is okay let's see I would like just some sort of labely thing it's too big I did like that one though. I don't want green. I would have red. What about this one? My scissors seem to just collect things on them because they've got glue there. I need to clean them off. It does get to the point where the stuff gathering on the scissors does get in the way. Yep. Love it. And that one is done. There's something to be said for having your bases ready. Highly recommend it. Okay, and I am going to do... Here it is. I'm going to do this snazzy one here. 
Oh, that's snazzy. Oh, yes, that's it. It does do that. See, it's like that. It does. It actually doesn't work so well with the... Oh, yeah, there we go. That'll do. Cool. Can you see that? There. Okay. I'm just going to go and see what's happening with the onion, and then I'll be back. Okay, I am back, and we're ready to move on to the next thing. So let's have a look. Oh, this one. Oh, look at that. I didn't even glue that down very well. That doesn't bring me joy. Oh, and look how much glue I put in there. Okay, just wipe it off. Now this one we can have. Hmm, I'm wondering, do I want to, because now I have choices, I'm going to snip my corners because I still do that. But do I want to put something at the top? I might staple something there. Where's my stapler? Use all the things. Stapler and... Oh dear, I've just piled all of my stuff up in front of me. I have this lovely piece. I could just staple even that. Oh, let's do that. I'm just going to grab some glue. Oh, now this one, I think, what I'm going to do is snip here. Do you think I should clean that off? I think I probably should. There we go. That's better. And what I'm going to do down here is match. There we go, see, I've learnt. Isn't that pretty? You can have something else as well. Let me just empty that one out. I use it a lot, I really like it. Okay, isn't that pretty? I'm going to put a little bit of, let me see what I've got over here in my scraps. I might have something in here that I might like to use. Oh, I think I'm going to put that at the top. Put it sideways, I think. And what you can do is put it in here and have a little bit of a shape happening on the top of your tab. Wrong glue. That's the mush glue. It's good for fabric though. Put that up there. I'll move all my stuff up there and I want a, I think I want a, I want something like that. No, I don't. Hmm, I don't think I do want those. This one. Next. 
that needs to go on something that's more sort of rectangle. I do love that one on there. And then behind, I'm thinking, oh, I might put a little piece of this. Yeah. I like those colours together. Okay, I've got to be careful. You can't see me, but I'm going to be careful with my gluing because this has skinny stems. And then I think I might take one of these. And stick that down over the top there like that. Yes. Why not? right over the top like that and then when it's dry I will punch punch a hole in it okay let's have a look at this one I think I might like that there yeah while we're at it And let's do the bottom punch. Where's my other here? I'm wondering if I might like a butterfly on there. Nope. Hmm. Don't mind that one. Like I could just leave it with the flower there, but just to switch it up a little bit. Why not? That or That's very pretty. I think I'll put that there. I do love that. Yeah, simple. And I think I will wait for that to dry before I punch it because some then that thing doesn't come out properly. Um, this one, what's that? Oh, what have I done with that? Oh, that was a, um, what I was doing with that. Put those over there. Okay. Um, I'm going to add something to this one. Very clashy, isn't it? I like clashy. I'm going to put that there. Okay, well, let's see what's next.
Like these, of course, could back other tags and just be the backing themselves that you can write on because you can write on those. Oh, I love those colors together. My everlasting paper that I bought, the it's a gift paper that I bought um, in Australia. I think I bought it, did I buy it in 2019, the last time I went before? You know what happened? Don't know. Probably. Yeah. Too bright. Wrong colour, really. Nope. Those are too big. That's it. Oh, I'm going to put that one aside. Look, it's the end of the chapter one where I like to keep those. So I'll put that aside. We'll do something with that maybe on Friday. And this one, I'm just simply going to punch out my hole there. And that is ready to go. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, we've done a few of those. Let's, oh, let's have a look at this one. These ones are a bit harder because it's lovely already as it is. Um, so you could just leave it like that if you want to. You know, I don't often leave things, do I? This really is exploding. I do need to use up some of the stuff. didn't put my birds in there. Look at the poor bird. Oh. I like that one. I'm going to put that bird there. I'm not going to put any book page. Normally I would put a little bit of book page behind, but I don't want to cover up all of that lovely um, paper. Then, I don't want anything else. I might put a little something over the top. Let's see. I like the look, or will I put it there? No, I want it over the top. I'll just put these those ones that I haven't finished in my to-do box, and we will recap what we've done. Yeah. Sometimes these little books have a little label on them like that. Um, in You know, the original ones do, so I think it's quite fitting to have one there. So just, we put all of the um, different backings on them for writing and then I've just completed these, which I'm really pleased about because I did really need, I love that. I love that. Oh, he knew. Love that one. Oh, I love them all really. That one, that one. 
that one, that one, and that one. So I'm going to go because I've got to do a few things before I go to the parent-teacher thing. Um, thank you. Oh, and I want to get the video uploaded. That's what I need to do. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again soon. Bye. Can't turn you off.